What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to install Fabric Mods on Amethyst, which is the latest version of Pojab Launcher. They are working on a new application that they have named Amethyst, which you can find in the link in the description of this video. Now, I would love it to reach 1,000 subscribers before the end of September of 2025. So if you've came here for some Zalith Launcher or Amethyst or any Java Minecraft, please hit that subscribe button because it would be really cool so that I can go live and do some live gameplay footage and so much more and to keep bringing you more content because I don't want to work construction for the rest of my wasteful life. Now for the very first thing to note here guys is that I am on the latest version of Amethyst as of today. The next thing we're going to do since we are downloading fabric mods is go to ModRinth. First go to Discover and click on Mods. Now I'm going to download mods for the latest version which is 1.21.8. So the very first thing you need is the fabric API. I know we're not touching anything with Amethyst right now but we are going to get there. Let's just figure out how to download mods. So Fabric API, select your game version 1.21.8. Now you're going to make the assumption that this one right here is the newest one, which says version API 131.0. So that's the one we're going to download because it is a newer build. You can check the change logs to see what the newer build is. But I just think it's easier just to go to the download section, then go to discover mods. Now I'm going to download one of the easiest mods I think is easy to set up, which is the tree harvester mod. Now the reason why is just because this mod does require another mod. And people get that confused when they're trying to download mods because they don't understand that some mods require what are called libraries or dependencies. Now you're going to make sure that you select fabric, click download, click download anyways. Now the next thing we're going to do here guys is navigate to amethyst and here we go. Now the first thing to note again is that I am using the mobile glues renderer. Now the latest version of this actual application tries to pick the right renderer for you. Now I'm not going to say that it's picking the right renderer but if you don't know then what we can do is very simple. First let's go to our drop down to create a new profile. Click on create new profile. Create fabric profile for 1.21.8 since that is what we're using here today. Click install. Now it's installed. Now we're going to select that profile and do a little bit of housekeeping. So what we can do here guys is click on open game directory and inside of the amethyst folder by clicking on amethyst at the top you can create a folder by clicking the three dots new folder and we can name this tree harvester mod pack just like so and the reason for this is because we're going to select that folder. Now the reason for that is because technically we're creating a mod pack when we actually start downloading mods. And how do we do that? Well, we're going to click on the pencil icon. We're going to scroll down until you see a section that says custom path. Click select. Now you're going to be in this main directory right here. And there is our folder that we just created called tree harvester mod pack. Click on that. Click on select folder. Now go down and then click save. Now you're going to click on play. I know we haven't added mods yet, but that's because when we click play, this creates a whole bunch of folders that are very necessary for us to copy our mods. Very important before we get into this is that you copy everything that I do here. Do not use applications like ZArchiver. ZArchiver breaks a lot of stuff when it comes to copying mods or copying any other files because ZArchiver is very intrusive and that is my story and I'm going to stick to it. And if you want to look into it guys, even the team over at Amethyst 
say the same thing. Do not use the Z archiver. It just does not work, okay? So how do we copy our mods? Go to open game directory, go to your three lines, go down to your device name, go down to your download folder, copy those two mods that we just downloaded. Click on them, copy two, three lines, go down to amethyst, go to your tree harvester, and look, all of our folders are here. Click mods, click copy. Now we're going to try to run this. It's going to crash, and that is because I want to show you how to read your logs and why this is going to crash. The reason why is because we're missing a specific mod, and I want you to learn how to read your mods or your logs so that you understand if you need to find other fabric mods in the future. Sometimes you might just get a indefinite black screen which is perfectly fine now what we're going to do is go to amethyst we're going to go to open game directory go to amethyst and then click on your latest log you can open it in google chrome or your html viewer i'm going to click on my html viewer and we're going to scroll 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 keep scrolling and we're going to try to find a potential solution has been determined which is right here. It literally tells us right here, guys, install collective version 8.4 or later. Now, you might not always get this, but this is basically showing you that this is telling us specifically that we need another mod called collective. So let's go back into Google Chrome. We're going to go to mods. We're going to look for this mod called collective and make sure that your mods match each version because if you try to download a mod that's for an older version then it's not going to work so collective download go to select game version 1.2 1.8 for fabric download anyways download anyways again wait for it to download navigate back to amethyst open game directory same process as before select your device name download long press on collective copy to go to your amethyst go to your tree harvester folder your mods folder click copy now we're going to navigate back to amethyst and wait for it to run and that is really about it guys there's not really any rocket science involved when it comes to downloading and installing mods it's just a matter of paying attention and actually knowing what mods are needed like what I just showed you in this example so that you can understand what to do. Collective again is just a mod that is required for us to be able to use this and if you don't understand that then of course rewatch the video because I have showed you this in the most easiest bestest way possible for you to use in your life. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that, but that was where I thought I would go. Now, of course, guys, you should download other mods like mod menu and all that fun stuff. But this is just a gist of how to get the mods working when you want to play with them in 2025. Have a nice day using Amethyst because this is actually a really good launcher for minecraft on your phone and let's see let's chop down the last little block here to make sure that the tree harvester mod is actually indeed working there it goes the reason it's working is that we can see the trees just disappearing and yeah we're good to go have a nice day here guys i hope you enjoy I don't know why my buttons are reversed. I press them in the right order, but maybe it's just my phone being kind of dumb. There goes the tree. Bye, guys. I love you all. Don't forget to subscribe for more of this content.